Hi everyone, this is Namalgia Video, and I just wanted to show you one of the special islands that you can get through Nook Miles tickets. I had heard my friends talking about the different Nook Islands that they've gotten, and I heard about Money Rock Island, and it sounded so cool, an island just full of money rocks. Who wouldn't want that? It turns out that Money Rock Island is not as cool as I thought it would be, but it does have an interesting layout and design. As you can see in the video, I can't use the vaulting pole anywhere around in order to get to the middle portion where all the rocks are situated. I'm grabbing some fruit here because the way to get to the center of the island actually requires you to eat a fruit and break a rock. Here you can see an interesting money rock that is blocking access to the center island. However, with no spaces on its side, it's actually not possible to get the maximum amount of money or resources that you could from a normal rock. The game designers just seem to have put it there like a barrier door to seal the treasure room. I couldn't help but feel that the mere 100 bells this money rock gave me was only put there to taunt me, but no one ever said that life in Animal Crossing was easy. Well, except every other Animal Crossing NPC ever. After breaking the rock, I was able to vault my way in and finally get access to the treasures at the center of the island. I'm never going to say no to free resources, even if it is just five stone. And now for the most important part, the money. I was happy that I didn't have to dig my holes this time because all five rocks had a natural backing to them. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, there was a special shovel you could get when you hit money rocks that had a chance of doubling the amount of money that came from a rock on a single strike. But in this game, I haven't found anything like that yet. With that in mind, there's currently a maximum amount of money you can get from a money rock if you hit all the strikes correctly. And it's 16.1 thousand bells per rock. And since Money or Rock Island has five rocks that you can get the full amount from, the total amount of bells that you can get is 80,000 and a half bells. It's not too bad for just showing up to a random island with a Nook Miles ticket, but some of the other special islands that you can get are a lot better. You could get Scorpion or Tarantula Island and then be able to fill your pockets with all of those. Or you can get Finn Island and fill your pockets with all finned fish. Either way, a full inventory of those things would be worth way more than 80,000 bells. My personal favorite that I really want to get are the hybrid flower islands. And when I do get those, hopefully I will take footage and put a video up of some of the different ones. It seems like every major flower type has a different hybrid flower island. And while you could catch the rare butterflies there, it'd be way more important to fill your pockets with all the hybrid flowers you can get your hands on. 80,000 bells and 5 to 10 material stone later, and that's really all there is to Money Rock Island. I hope this was interesting, and thanks for watching.